the bias setup utility to change bias settings. First, what is bias? Bias means the basic input-output system. The bias, pronounced as bias, is a ROM chip found on motherboards that allows you to access and set up your computer system at the most basic level. This is what the bias looks like. The four main functions of a PC BIOS is the POST, or to test the computer hardware and make sure no errors exist before loading the operating system. The POST, or the Power On Self-Test, that helps verify the computer meets requirements to boot up properly. If the computer doesn't pass the POST, you will receive a combination of beeps, indicating what is malfunctioning within the computer. The bootstrap loader locates the operating system. If a capable operating system is located, the BIOS will pass control to it. The BIOS drivers or the low-level drivers that gives the computer basic operational control over your computer's hardware. The BIOS or the CMOS setup is a configuration program that allows you to configure hardware settings including system settings, such as computer passwords, time, and date. Why do we need to access BIOS? You may need to access the BIOS setup utility for a number of reasons, like managing memory settings, configuring a new hard drive, changing the boot order, and resetting the BIOS password, and many more. How to enter the BIOS? To enter the BIOS, it is actually very easy once you determine which key or combination of keys on your keyboard to press to access the BIOS. The BIOS Enter key is F1, F2, F10, Delete, or Escape, depending on what computer you are using. F1, F2, and F10 are all function keys on the top of the keyboard. If pressing F2 opens the Diagnostics tool, your setup key is likely F10. F10 is also used for the boot menu. If F10 opens the boot menu, your setup key is likely F2. This is where the function keys are located, at the top of your keyboard. This is the steps to access the BIOS. First, Restart your computer or turn it on if it's already off. Accessing the BIOS is independent of any operating system on your computer because the BIOS is part of your motherboard hardware. I already sort of mentioned this above. But please, know it doesn't matter at all if your PC is running Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows whatever, Linux, Unix, or no operating system at all. Any instructions for entering the BIOS setup utility will be the same. Step 2 is watch for an entering setup message. In the first few seconds after turning on your computer, this message varies greatly from computer to computer and also indicates the key or keys you need to press to enter BIOS. For example, in this figure, press F2 to enter the setup. In this figure, delete function will enter the BIOS setup. While on this one, you need to press F2 or delete to run the BIOS setup. Step 3, quickly press the key or keys instructed by the previous message to get into BIOS. This is what the BIOS interface looks like. For this one, Always remember that BIOS setup differs from different computer. From the boot order sequence, what comes first? Is it the optical drive, the hard disk, or the removable disk drive? What do you think? To reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device, and press a key. What is the boot order sequence? What is the boot order sequence? 
it defines which device a computer should check for the operating system's boot files. It also specifies in which order those devices should be checked first. To change the boot order in BIOS, you need to restart the computer and watch for the BIOS setup message. For example, in this figure, press F2 to enter the BIOS setup. After you press the F2 function, enter the BIOS setup utility. You'll see this figure. Step 3 is locate and navigate to the boot order options in BIOS. Once you see the boot order, which is the hard drive, the CD-ROM drive, the removable devices, the network boot from Intel E1000. To make changes to the boot order, just use your arrow keys. To save changes to the BIOS setup utility, just click the Exit Saving Changes. And then confirm boot order changes and exit the BIOS. To start the computer with the new boot order, press any key to boot from CD or press any key to boot from USB. The hard drive partitioning. What is partition? Partition can be thought of as a division or part of a real hard disk drive. These are also sometimes called the disk partitions and when someone uses the word drive, they usually mean a partition with a drive letter assigned. So what's the purpose of a partition? It is dividing a hard drive into partitions is helpful for a number of reasons but is necessary for at least one. It is to install multiple operating systems on the same hard drive, allowing you to select which one you want to start a situation called dual booting. Or to make the drive available to an operating system. In creating a partition during Windows 7 installation, you need to select where do you want to install the windows. First is to start the Windows in 7 installation after passing the first initial screens. You will get to the screen where you are asked to, then select which type of installation you want to perform. Is it to upgrade or the custom installation? The next screen will ask you to select where you want to install the system meaning on what partition. At that point, you need to decide on one of the two options. Is it to install Windows on the enter available disk space or to create a partition on the hard disk and install Windows on that partition? If you pick option 1, then you simply click Next and get done with it. If you pick option 2, you can then create the partition exactly as you want it. On step 3, click on Drive Options, the screen will change and show you several new buttons. To create a new partition, click New. To delete a specific partition, click Delete. To format a specific partition, click Format. To extend the partition beyond the barrier of the physical disk, and to spawn the partition on more than one physical disk, click Extend. In the Delete function, all data on that partition will be deleted, while on the Format function, all data on that partition will be also deleted. To create a new partition, click New. In the Size box, enter the size of the new partition. When done, click Apply. Actually, even if you do not manually create the partition by using this procedure, Windows will still create this partition. However, since you did manually create the partition, Windows will tell you that another partition will also be created. You can now see the partition you've created and the hidden boot partition. In most cases, the partition in which Windows will be installed is partition number 2. Step 7, press Format to format the new partition. You'll be warned that all data will be deleted. That should pose no issue because the partition was just created and it is blank. Click OK to format. 
installation will now commence as usual.